This tutorial is going to cover the, the basics of the C plane or the construction plane, uh, which is a plane in Rhino uh, for each view, which uh, is, the, is, the, is the surface or the plane or the grid that you're drawing things on. Um, for instance, I have a, a box here, um, and you can see in the different views which uh, sides of the box are, are, correspond to it. Now if you look down on each viewport, it's actually got a world axis for you. So I'm in the perspective view, I can see both the Y and the X axis, and I, I know that up is, is Z. Now if I go to a top axis, I know that I'm looking down on the object, and I can see it's Y and X direction. If I'm looking in the front, I can see the, the Z axis and the X axis. And then if I'm looking in the right, I can um, see the Z and the Y axis. And if I set this view to, say, uh, a left view, it will tell me that the Z is um, it, it's Z and Y, but Y is going the opposite way. Let's change this back here. Now, if I want to draw a line, let's say in the perspective view, uh, and I'm just going to draw it, uh, like this. This kind of looks like it's going to go, you know, in front of the object. It looks kind of like a, a vertical line, but if you look in the top view, it's not. And that's because uh, we're drawing in the C plane. So this is going to be coplanar to the, the plane that is established as the C plane for each view. If I go to a top view, for instance, I can just draw a line and you can see it popping up the other viewport. Uh, the top and the perspectival views share the same um, C plane. They have the same established um, original C plane, which is the basically the ground, the X and the Y axis. If I go to something like a front view and I try to draw a line, you can actually see in all of the other views that it is drawing um, on a different um, axis. It's drawing in the Z direction. That's because the C plane is established in the Z and the X. And then for the right, you can see it's um, a similar um, thing is occurring. So now um, this might have looked like it was drawing in front of the object, but the C-plane is actually established behind it. So how can we change the C-plane? How, how can we manipulate it to our advantage? Well, there's a couple ways. Um, one is you can use these default set um, C-plane to the world top, the bottom, the front, the back, the right, etc. Uh, those are the default places that they're in right now. But we can also set it by three points. Uh, we can set it by the, we, we can change its x-axis, we can change its elevation, and we can set it to a surface or an object. Uh, the ones I like most are set c-plane by three-point and set c-plane to surface. Now keep in mind that changing the c-plane in one view is not going to change necessarily the c-plane in another view. So let me change the uh, perspective c-plane by using the c-plane three-point command. It's asking me for the origin, then it's asking me for a point on the x-axis, and then it's asking me for a point on the y-axis. So none of these grids changed. I knew that right, it, you know, I would have seen the, the grid change in the right view, uh, but now the c-plane is on front of the, the, the green plane, and when I draw an, an object, um, like a line here, now instead of being on that world ground, it's going to be um, associated with um, the c-plane that I changed it to. So you can't undo or redo uh, c-planes in the same manner that you could uh, creating geometry like control c or control z control v uh, sorry uh, control z control y you have to go down in the drop down and do set c-plane and undo c-plane change um, or you can go to the c-plane tab um, and you can undo um, or redo there or you can type uh, c-plane and use the subcommand undo. And then you'll see that the C-plane has um, changed. Now if I use control Z, it just undid the geometry that I created. So let's say I wanted to change the C-plane in this view, uh, so it's not drawing behind it, uh, behind the object anymore, and I'm drawing directly on the surface. Well, I can go to the C-plane tab, and I can use set C-plane to surface, or I can run the C-plane command, And I can select surface, and it's going to tell me which surface I want to draw this or um, associate it with it. So I'm going to select this green surface, and it hi keeps highlighted for me, and it's asking me for the origin and the x-axis. So now when I draw a line in the front view, as long as I'm not snapping to anything, um, you can see that it's popping up on um, this uh, green 
Um, and this will be uh, more important for like trimming objects, right? If we need to create windows or something like that, or we want to create grid lines. Sometimes it's not so easy to figure out, you know, if you're drawing on the surface or not. So you need to establish a C-plane so that you can actually draw on the surface um, that you want to. If I use the same set C-plane to surface command and I change it, I can go here. I don't have to put the x-axis there, but what that changes is the um, orthogonal drawing. So if I hold shift, it's going to be orthogonal to the y-axis or the x-axis. Um, so just be aware of which way your axes are facing for the C-plane. And if you're ever confused, you can always look down at your axes and um, figure out exactly which way is up associated with the world. You can always go back, uh, let's say in the front view, now that I've changed it, I can go and set the C-plane to uh, the world uh, front. And that will set it back to beginning. And now if I draw, I'm drawing um, essentially where I was in, in the first place. Now, one thing to consider with C-planes is that they uh, are associated with a certain view. So if I change the C-plane, for instance, uh, let's change it to this surface in a perspectival view. And I go ahead and I change this view, or let's go ahead and change this view to a perspective. You can see that they don't have the same C-plane because this drop-down view, when I set the view to one of these default views, it has um, a C-plane already associated with it. You can get around this by um, saving the C-planes. So um, you can click into a view and uh, go to the C-plane tab and use the save C-plane by name. And you need to uh, type a C plane in, or it will uh, basically give you a default. So we'll call this green. And now, if I go to my drop down and I set the C plane, you can see that green is an option for me to use. And I can do that in every view. So I can go to set C plane and I can go to green. And now I am drawing on the C plane associated with the green plane. I can also save views. Um, after I have associated a C plane with them. So if I call, uh, let's, let's set it to a surface here. And I go down to the drop down. If I go to uh, set view, named views, I can save the view. And I'll call this uh, red perspective. Now, if I change this back to, let's say, a perspective view, it's going to associate that C plane with it. Uh, let's go to this view. Now, uh, let's go to this view. So every time I load up that C plane, um, it will. Um, or load up the view, it will load the C plane. Even if I override it with the world, I do some sort of modifier on this. I can go over here and set the view to red perspective, or I can actually set the view in this one. And it will be on the front 